Let's look at this idea of bubble pushing. Bubble pushing is a shorthand method for forming equivalent logic circuits based on De Morgan's theorem. And what we're going to do is I want to focus your attention down, down here to the two forms of De Morgan's theorems. And let's draw the circuit on the left. We have the inverse of the sum. So that is an, an OR gate with a bubble at the output, right? And that is equal to the product or the anding of the inverses. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a bubble on the input sides. Okay, now that's not an, offic an official gate, but you understand what I'm doing here. We're taking A and B and we're going to invert them. Then we're going to apply them to the AND gate. Now, what we have here is we're saying these are equal. And the way you can see this visually is if you take this bubble and you push it, you push it through the gate, then the bubbles appear. Okay, bubbles appear on other side, on the other side, right? And the gate and the gate switches. Oops, sorry, I'm writing fast and sloppy. Switches from an OR to an AND gate. Okay, so um, we can we can now we can do the same thing for the second case here. Let's let's try this one. This is going to be a an AND with a bubble on the output because we're taking the inverse of the AND and we're saying that's equal to the inverse or the, uh, the sum of the inverses. All right, so once again, if we take these two bubbles here on the, out, on the input side and we push them through the gate, the bubble shows up at the output right here and the gate changes from an OR to an AND. So now let's go up to these uh, equivalent um, gate circuits up at the top and see if we can make sense of them. So if I take, let's start with this one, we'll go back, we'll move this way. If we have an OR gate with an inver inverter at the output and the input, then if we push these two gates, we can do it either way. If we push the two input inverters through the gate, then the gate becomes an AND gate and we actually have a, we really have a, a double inversion, right? Because we had this bubble here, plus we have these bubbles that now kind of show up as a second bubble. And so a double inversion, uh, they cancel each other out. If we push this bubble through here, and the way to, to think of this is you think, put a double bubble here, okay? Put a double bubble, then that's, uh, there's no inversion at all. Push that one bubble through and so the, the OR gate will become an AND gate with the bubble showing up at the output here. And this guy here, this solid one I'll draw, is left behind. Let's see, let's do, uh, let's do one more. We could start with this idea, with, let's start with here and see if we can go this way. So the way we would start with this OR gate is we'd put an inverter and then we'd put another inverter on each input. And now we're going to push just the first bubble through, leaving the second bubble behind. So that first bubble, when it goes through, will show up out here at the output and the gate goes from an OR to an AND. So that's bubble pushing. Uh, bubble pushing is just a graphical uh, logic circuit application of De Morgan's theorems.